right, let's go to the courtyard. See if we can, uh, oh. Hi. Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So uh, no, but call it tell me more. All the way to the arms of Joanna. Moi. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? I always have what it takes. Oh, confident. I like that. So, what do you want to do with what you've got? Uh, better question is, what are you going to do with it? I I'm going to try to sex this girl up. I don't know why, but I'm going to. Oh my, aren't you something else? I guess you'll have to see for yourself what I can do, huh? Consider it on the house, honey. Alright, lead the way. Follow me, honey. I'll sex her up, and then I'll ask her some questions. Arcade? Yeah, you can tag along, I don't give a shit. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Do my best. Arcade, shut up. I'm just trying to... There we go. <laughs> Turn caps lock off. This is going to be a slow and painful process. At least I got that booty. Stare at. I have to admit, they did a pretty good job at animating butts. Laura K. Buzz would be proud. Anyways, if this actually goes somewhere. Wait. Oh, is that a fuck tent? I think it's a fuck tent. Uh, uh jo ooh, this is Joanna's room. Hey, baby. So what are we, what are we doing in here? You just gonna sit there and smoke? Come here, baby. I'm all yours. Are you ready to be all mine? I'd like to talk first. No, I'm ready. Okay. Lay down and I'll take care. <laughs> Arcade is just like, what am I, what am I doing here? Ooh, ooh, sexy sleepwear. Whoa, ugh. So she's just gonna go to sleep? She's just gonna go to sleep, huh? Alright, well, let's try this. Oh, black screen! Black screen! Wait, what? what's going on? What was that? Oh, alright! I think we know what's going on there. <laughs> you are now well rested. That's fantastic. Uh, why? But how would you be well rested? There was no resting going on there. All right, Joanna, I got a few questions for you, baby. Jesus, you could change clothes fast. Come here, baby. I'm all. Let's talk first. Right, honey. Whoa, frame rate skip. I have some questions about Gamora. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, what's the deal with Gamora? It's your paradise on this desolate earth, hun. Your troubles are gone, your pain forgotten, and your dreams come true. How many drugs are you on? Everyone wants a piece of their own personal heaven, so they come here for hours and hours, hun. That was like ten seconds. Military hours? Men. Come on. Give me something wandering more. Wandering travelers. They're all the same without their clothes on. What they want, the Omertas provide. Okay, tell me about the Emeritus. You best hold your tongue, friend. Or someone here will take care of it for good. Fair enough. Let's go back to my I'm other kidding. questions. Like, no more about you? Come on. Yeah, Joanna, tell me some more about you. Yes. No? You don't look good. Are you ill or something? <laughs> no, I'm not so good with medicine yet. Now, that's kind of bullshit because I have one of the best doctors in the world behind me. We just got done watching us fuck. Whatever. Oh, nothing special, hun. I'm the best lay in Gamora, and that's all you need to know. Do you like it here? I like that you're here. Doesn't that make you happy? She is on some sort of drugs. <laughs> Joanna, you can trust me. Why are you avoiding my questions? I'm... I don't know what's happening to me. I can't feel a goddamn thing anymore. Empty and poisoned like the wasteland. Oh, well, this is getting dark. I won't make it out of here. Not without Carlitos. If the Medex doesn't kill me first, Kachino or another Omerta will. I look pathetic, huh? The great Joanna. And now. I don't even know. This is getting too sad. 
All right. Ooh, we're almost to six. All right. Well, first of all, who is Kachino? He's a filthy monster. I've been with perverted men, but Kachino's done things to me that even other Omertas would also want to kill him if they knew what he does. He's broken so many of their rules that I don't know how he's. Well, I don't see his scars on you, so. I don't know what the hell he could have done, but hey, I'm not going to ask questions. Well, I am morbidly curious. He was an Omerta that fell in love with me. They don't ever mix with people outside the family, you know? He was planning to escape with me, but Kachino found out about us. So he did something, talked, I don't know. And Carlitos disappeared. Carlitos disappeared. Kachino talked because Carlitos broke Omerta rules? Why, why do their names have to be so close together? Kachino doesn't give a shit about rules. Only cares to feed his perversions. He lusted for me. He's done things to me. I just Look, did things to you. I'm stuck here. I know that. Carlitos is the only thing that kept me going. And now I don't have anything left. What if Carlitos lives? Carlitos lives! If he's alive, he's long gone. The Omertas want him dead now. If you meet him anywhere, I'd do anything to get him back and escape this hell. Although I'm not keeping my hopes up. Well, I'm going to be traveling the world, so... <laughs> anything? If he lives, I'll find him for you. Hun, nobody's given me a free thing before. What's it going to be for you? Caps? Sex? Straps? What? You already sexed me up. So, but I mean, I could use some more. I'm a God. I feel like such a dick. Yes, I know what you want, and I know how to give it to you right now. But I guess, I guess we're, um, I guess we're doing that again. You like it. Alright. Screw it. That's enough of that. She doesn't really have any information for me. As to why the Emeritus are not buying guns. That's what I really need to know. What's up? What's up? Anything back here? No? Nothing? Huh. Weird. Alright. Well. How? Okay. These are fuck huts. Oh my god. I was joking, but... Well, like, wow, they're fuck cuts. Huh. Well then, anyways, we gotta figure out why they don't have, or they're not buying guns from Mix anymore. Mick and Ralph's. You gambler? Hey. Yeah, you're not helping me at all. Is that, is, is that a male stripper? Entertaining two women who cannot look any less interested. Alright, let's go find some more people to talk to. You know you want a piece of this. Give me some sugar. I really don't. In fact Is that a You people are disgusting. Alright guys, so apparently I can't complete the Emeritus quest until we do some more story stuff. Uh there's some stuff to do with the Emeritus in the story, so I'm going to find a different way to get some experience going here. So we're going back to the tops. Is this where we at? Tops? Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome. Yeah, tops. There you go. And that's fine. I don't need to talk to you anymore. Hello. What's up, chairman? Um, let's see here. Oh, I know what I need to do. You, Swank. What's up, baby? Hello, baby. Welcome to the tops. What can I do for you? Uh, I think you should know something about Benny. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? Mm, because, trust me, you need to know this. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, these speeches are going to go up in, like, difficulty, but I'm at 100, so I'm not too worried. Benny tried to kill me and stole a platinum chip I was hired to deliver. That doesn't... Why would he I mean, like that? not really, but okay. Else to offer? 
Uh, I tried to make it look like an accident, just a traveler killed and robbed in the wasteland. He's trying to pull a fast one on the big man. Crazy bastard. You got any more? Uh, that's it. What do you think? Uh, no. Benny must think this ship will allow him to seize power in the strip. Jesus, I can't even believe it. There we go. After all House did to set us up with this swank joint. I don't suppose there's more. That's it. Jesus, kid. I think we got a real problem on our hands. I can't believe Benny's a no-good stinking punk. Really? You can't? Like Look at that suit. Tell you what. I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Here's the key. It's on the 13th floor. It's a room with the double doors. Can't miss it. Maybe you'll find something we can show to Mr. House and get him arrested. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we don't have time for that. We need to take him out right now. Nah, I've got to do this diplomatically. Stuff back. In case you run into company, you dig. I'll tell the boys to give you a pass to pack some heat. Go on, then. All right. Can I just go kill Benny? That would be fantastic. I'm not going to lie. I do want to kill Benny just because I want that suit. Um, elevators are this way. That suit is pretty badass. Evening. Evening. That's just instinct at this point. Uh, nope. There we go. Elevator to the 13th floor. Let's go into Benny's room. It's the one with the double doors, which is this big ass one here. Will I get in trouble from these guys? Maybe. Oh, okay. We turned around anyways. Come on, Arcade, get in here. Get in here! Thank you. Alright, let's search Benny's room. What do we got going on? What do we got going on? Got some wardrobes. Pre-war spring outfit. Pre-war hat. Nah. I want Benny's suit. Alright. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Ooh, little stacks of money. They are. Pre-war money. Not like I really need any more anyways. Salesman Weekly. Alright. That'll come in handy. Anything in here? Not really. Oh, hey laughing man. What's up? Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you! What can I do for you today? Have you seen Benny? He was around here not too long ago. He's probably down on the casino floor now. You can wait for him here if you like. I'm incapable of asking you to leave. <laughs> I'm incapable of asking you to leave. Uh, Platinum sure. Chip. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chips are proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There blah, are blah, blah. with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Okay, what's Benny planning to do? Uh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I just do what Benny tells me. Easy peasy! You're very forthcoming with that information. I was programmed to be helpful answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Yes, it was. What if I wanted to take over New Vegas instead of Benny? Ooh. We could take over New Vegas. I don't really want to take over New Vegas, though. I just want to collect all the shit. Uh... Okay, goodbye. So, yes man, what's on these computers? Broken terminal, nada, broken terminal, broken terminal. He doesn't have the best equipment going on here, does he? Give me a door. Whoa, what is this? What's going on here? That's like a back door to all the rooms. Take elevator to sub-basement. Requires key. Huh. This is interesting. Anything down this way? Nope. Sure not. 
All right, well, I guess it's time to go see Mr. House. All right, welcome to Mr. House's penthouse suite. I didn't really want to come here and do the main story, but according to uh, his fuck robot, there is a snow globe in here somewhere, which I did not realize, so I'm kind of glad we came in here anyways. Because this should get us to deal with the Omertas and, and we can find a snow globe somewhere. Whoa. Hey, Mr. House. What's up, baby? Well, this meeting has been a long time in coming. Longer still since you took time to charge into the tops before coming to see me. You're damn before right. Before we get down to details, I must ask. Now that you've arrived at your destination, what do you make of what you see? Uh, a city devoted to vice and sin? What's not to love? <laughs> what the hell are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, come now. Don't play the fool. Vegas has fools enough. A superfluity of them. They're what makes it so profitable. They come to Vegas chasing penny ante dreams of high living to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? We don't have to dream that we're important. We are. <laughs> Why the VIP treatment? Shall we get down to business? Yep. It's kind the of business business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. The chip? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? It's a good start, but well below market price. A thousand cap. It's only a thousand caps. Very well. Five times the bonus. Not one cap more. 1,250 caps. I have like 30,000. Whatever, I just leveled, so I got what I need. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any... Uh, is there any good questions around here? How do I get to Benny? Tell me about Benny. What is a platinum chip? Who exactly are you? Tell me about the factions vying for New Vegas. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic. Okay, then I will go get the chip, but for right now, we need to up our science well above 50. Alright, new perk. Okay, so Black Widow, combat, you also have combat, you also have access to unique dialogue options. Deal with the, oh yeah, I need that. I thought I already had that. I need the, I, I need the dialogue options. That's the whole point of this playthrough. Diplomatic. What's up, guys? Oh, that's awesome. You're a Nuka Cola bot. Alright. Search for the snow globe. This may take a while. Oh, oh shit, there it is. Haha! -ha. Snow globe, test site. Yes! Limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. Whoop whoop. Got it, baby. Oh, is that a floor safe? It is a floor safe. Too bad I can't open it, because I don't have the lockpick skill. Alright, so just so you know, it is in the cocktail lounge, which you can only get access to once you talk to Mr. House. And it is over here, behind this cash register. Huh. I am shocked that I found that, honestly. That is quite amazing. Alright, so let us go to casino level. Empty, empty casino. Alright, back to the New Vegas Strip. We got our science up high enough. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Oh, what? What do you... I don't even care. Hey, come with me. Hey, hey, where? There we go. Follow me. Follow me. 